Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Untogether and uh, welcome to my third attempt at GeoGuessr Challenge. Uh, day one still holds the record. Um, we did pretty well actually. Uh, 13,313 points, um, which is pretty good for five guesses. Uh, best individual guess still belongs obviously to day one as well. Uh, I got within 65 kilometres of the target, which was 3,650 some points for that day. So those are our targets to beat for today. So here we go. And where are we, number one? I have absolutely no idea. The amount of times you seem to get dropped in somewhere very rural and very, uh, yeah, very nondescript. It's amazing how much not just places within a country but I mean places within you know different continents really look pretty similar to each other uh, in terms of you know the man-made structures in terms of the the foliage the greenery that's there undoubtedly there are you know tree experts and such screaming at their screens right now saying you idiot that's you know it's a coniferous fern they don't grow in 90% of the world's locations you moron but hey I'm not a tree guy, I wouldn't know that, to be honest with you. And I am finding absolutely nothing to orientate myself on this part at all. It is a long road of absolute diddly squat. Um, bridge. Pipeline. Doesn't help. A car coming. He is driving on the right, which is 95% of what the world do because the most of the world is wrong it's obviously the left is the correct place now it's a yellow warning sign and I have no idea what country in the world uses that wow we could really become unstuck here I don't think we're in the states the US just from that sign I don't think we're in South America for reasons. You know what's caught me out a lot recently, or caught, certainly caught me out last time, gave me the worst guess that I've ever had on this thing. Um, which alright, I've only been doing it three days now, but it was still pretty embarrassing. I was 14,000 kilometres incorrect. Uh, it was in South Africa, I thought it was in Canada. Do you know what? Just because this is such a long and horrible, windy road of nothing. I'm gonna go South Africa because I don't think so I'm gonna go central South Africa not Lesotho because that's not Lef that's not South Africa so there we go uh, wish me luck folks wish me luck <laughs> oh man so it did it to me the other way I guess Canada last time thought it was South Africa I was 14,000 kilometres out. This time we put us in Alaska and I'm 15,500 kilometres on 64 points. Folks, I'm an idiot. I am an absolute idiot. Uh, you may point and laugh and then tell all your friends come to point and laugh as well because holy cow, 64 points. 64. Ah, okay. Can we... Uh, uh, let's put that behind us. Let's carry on. No trespassing. Private property, that says. Which means we are somewhere they speak English. So it could be South Africa or Canada again. Who's to say? We might end up on the same thing. Um, so that yellow road sign on the last one, that was American because it was Alaska. How strange. This looks... Uh, I'm not going to say anything yet. Let's see what we can see here. See, that helps straight away. We come back around this way I think it was there we are there's a nice American flag and this, this actually looks pretty similar to Alaska that we saw last time in that same kind of road sign probably Americans all over are screaming at me now saying every one of our road signs is yellow you stupid idiot why didn't you know that why you know what are you doing well hey we're doing this to learn things we're doing this to try and get better so I can get better at this game that's what this is all about so when you come back on day, you know, 50 or 100 or whenever, oh yeah, yellow road sign, they only have those in America, only in specific states. Oh yeah, that, that sign, that shape like Ohio, will be fine. 
Moles draw lane. Yeah, it doesn't narrow it down. Could put the state on there for me, that would be helpful. But no. So I'm thinking USA. Um, it's very big pine lane, thanks. It's very, um, there's a for sale sign. Something Park Realty. But uh, I don't know where the area codes are. There's no point in me even trying to decipher that phone number. I wouldn't know where those codes are. And we keep coming down the road. Do you know what? I'm tempted. Almost tempted to say Alaska again. This sign here. Doesn't really help me at all. That's another Adopter Highway sign. So we know those are at least are a US uh, led thing. Okay, I think we're getting bored with this one now. So I think we're somewhere up north. It, it looks, I don't know, looks more North American than South. So am I going to go Alaska again? Or am I going to go along, along here? Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to go Alaska. I'm going to go Southern Alaska. Somewhere that it's nice and green. Somewhere there's a little bit of um I just lost no, there's a road. There's some civilization here, so let's go here and okay. Actually that's pretty poor. Because it was central Colorado. It was nowhere near north. It was nowhere near up here. Central Colorado, northern Colorado, central USA. Hum, 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 hum. 1,751 after two goes. That is pretty poor. Oh, come back and have a look at you, Mr. For Sale sign. York Peninsula Real Estate. Not an assistance for me. Okay. Thirty and a caravan sign. Wow, these aren't. Um, let's come back there and try and get our resolution back. Oops. Oh, no, it doesn't want to play. What do our signs say here? All oh, right, caravan park, public convenience, and a desalination plant. The order in which you go to those determines whether you have a good night out or a bad one. Um, do you know what? I'm going to come back down this road just because there doesn't seem to be any great amount of civilization going back the other way. It all seems to be industrial things and a caravan park. That's the ocean, which is very nice. We see what that no they're just some bins okay so I think we've just gone up and down this little road here let's have a look up this way and we'll see if we can spy anything toop and toop Names of the roads are blurred. When we come up here or past these little holiday homes, which are made out for people, it's very dusty. So, okay, let's take a guess. I think we're in the US. I think we're right down on this border down here <sighs> oh my goodness 155 because we were in Australia ah. 
Well, you know, I suppose you've, you've got to get these things wrong to start off poorly is the only way to get better. Perhaps day one was a fluke. Perhaps that was an absolute fluke and we'll never ever recreate the heights that we saw on that day because we've done pretty awfully so far. I've had the wrong continent twice. I've been 10,000 kilometers away more than, well, twice. Uh, wow, 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 wow. And things aren't looking up for us here. Oh, we just need to be some semblance of civilization. Just something, a city, a building, a sign. Something that we can see that's going to help us out in some way. Again, looking, you know, looking at the uh, the plant life and stuff that's growing there. Get lots of evergreens and uh, and, and nice coloured grass. So that grass isn't perfectly green; it's kind of bleached. No, maybe not. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Here's a sign. Let's have a look at our sign up here. Subukoski. Okay. Now ending with SKI, obviously at first shout, makes you think Russia. But for some reason in my head, and again, I'm going to make a fool of myself because I've done it twice so far today. So solid. Why not a third time? I'm thinking Finland. I have absolutely no basis for that whatsoever. And again, I don't think we're going to see. We're going to continue up this road. And I don't think we're going to see anything of use. So okay, let's come for southern Finland between Salo and the Harjo. Why not? Hey, right country. Do you know what? I'll take that. Given the poor, poor effort that we've had so far tonight, I will take the right country. I don't think a lot of people would have got that. That's great. I'm happy with that. Right, last one. So another half decent effort here, and it won't be a complete and total embarrassment. Um, Central Grove Picnic Park. Okay, Mr. House there looks American to me. Obviously, the writing and everything else. Let's go fly over. Can we not overtake this car? Why does he keep staying ahead of us, man? What's he doing? Pull over, let us pass. Dude, we don't. Seriously. Dude. Just. Why is there silly string all over the road? Okay. Man, he's annoying that car. Right, that's it. I don't, I'm not bothered about guessing where we are now. I'm just trying to overtake this damn car. Again, we're somewhere in the States. It's leafy and green. Right, we're not in the States then. Because that, that must be kilometres an hour. That can't be miles an hour. I thought all of the US worked on miles an hour. So 80k, I mean, you would certainly wouldn't do 80 miles an hour down that road, well, you would do, but you wouldn't last very long. So where are we then, if we're kilometres? That looks like this, that speaks English. So it's not Britain, obviously. It's not the States and it's not Canada. I thought Oz worked on miles per hour as well. I'm driving on the right. Oh man, I'm confused now. What does that sign here say? Uh, uh, for sale, someone, Vivian O'Neill. Doesn't help. Well, you know, have flags. 
the flags, people. Take pride in your country. So I get tricked by South Africa again. Should we make South Africa my nemesis for these videos? Why don't we? Why don't we do that? Because I can't think of another place where they speak English and and driving kilometers per hour. I don't know if they do that in, in South Africa. But the only thing I know for certain is that it's not the US, it's not Canada. And it isn't here. So let's go South Africa. And for once, let's see if we get one right. Oh my god. Where the hell? Where? So right on the tip of Nova Scotia. So they use kilometres per hour in ca Well, you learn something every day. Oh my goodness. This may be our lowest score ever. This will be one to look at how long, far away some of those lines are travelling. 4,394 in total. That is absolutely abysmal. That is absolutely atrocious. All right, some of those weren't that difficult, and some of those had things in there that threw me, probably because of my own stupidity and ignorance. But that is a horribly low score, and one of the worst ones. But thanks for watching. Thanks for undoubtedly shouting at the screen, and I will catch you next time.